Hey class, uh, we're back. This is day two, uh, uh, week one. And we got ancient Mesopotamia still. We did the overview the other day, and today we are doing the Sumer. All right, and the Sumer is a reference to, or it's a group of people, the Sumerians. Uh, the Sumerians did a lot of first, not just for Mesopotamia, but for the whole world. Uh, they invented writing. All right. Uh, some people believe they invented the wheel because the earliest wheel was found there. And we'll get into some of this here. Uh, but they, they ruled for, for in Mesopotamia for uh, a couple hundred years before the Akkadians came along. And uh, today that's what we're doing. We're talking about the Sumerians. All right. So the Sumerians were thought, like I said, the first to form the first human civilization in the world. Uh, if you look right here, this is where Sumer was, or, or Sumer was, and uh, you know it was between, like I said the other day in the over, in the overview, it was between the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers. And if you look right here, there you can see the rivers right here, and, and that set it up for fertile farmland for them. Ancient Mesopotamia, the Sumer, Sumerians. The Sumerians are thought to have formed the first human civilization in world history. They lived in southern Mesopotamia between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in the Middle East. All right, it was, it was the cradle of civilization. Uh, uh, it was formed around 5000 BC, so it was a long, long, long time ago. And, uh, this land is often called the cradle of civilization, and why is it called the cradle of civilization? I showed you the cradle the other day, and it's kind of shaped like a cradle, the, the where the farmland and stuff was. So that's that's what this was called, and, and uh, the nomads moved into the fertile lands, and they began to form these small villages, and eventually it grew into these large towns. Cradle of civilization. Many historians think that cities and towns were first formed in the Sumer around 5000 BC. Nomads moved into the fertile land and began to form small villages, which slowly grew into large towns. Eventually, these cities developed into the civilization of the Sumer. This land is often called the cradle of civilization. All right, so they, they formed their own government as well. That was another one of the first that they did. They formed their own government and they what they did, they formed city-states, all right? And these city-states were, were their government, and they had ruled the city as land as, around, as well as the land around it. And look here, this is what it probably looked like. This was the city, and they had a wall around it. And all this land around it, they, they, uh, they ruled as well. And all this was farmland. And when something would come to attack, because they, they fought amongst each other all the time, and when someone would come to attack, all the people on the surrounding, surrounding area would go inside the walls to be protected. Sumer city-states. As the Sumerian villages grew into large cities, they formed city-states. This is where a city government would rule the city as well as the land around it. These city-states often fought each other. They built walls around their cities for protection. Farmland was outside the walls, but people would retreat to the city when the invaders came. All right, so there were a lot of these city-states throughout Sumer. Eridu is thought to be the first major city that was formed and one of the oldest cities in the world. This is what they think Eridu looked like. City-states continue. There were many city-states throughout the Sumer. One of the most powerful city-states was Eridu. Eridu is thought to be the first of the major cities formed and one of the oldest cities in the world. All right, so they had Sumerian rulers and government. Each city-state, they had its own ruler, and they went by various titles. They had Lugal, In, or Ensi, and the, the ruler was like the king or governor. All right, we, we went over the Middle Ages last year, so we talked all about kings and all about this. You know, it was kind of similar to that uh, uh, as far as the government was. Uh, the ruler was also, and we also talked about Egypt, it's kind of similar to that. The ruler of the city was often the high priest of their religion as well, so it made him double powerful. And the most famous king was Gilgamesh or Uruk, 
who was the subject of the Epic of Gilgamesh, and we'll talk about it. We go and we actually have our own little unit on it, our own rating on it. And it was one of the world's oldest surviving works of literature. Epic of Gilgamesh. Sumerian rulers and government. Each city state had its own ruler. They went by various titles such as Lugal, In, or Ensi. The ruler was like a king or a governor. The ruler of the city was often the high priest of their religion as well. This gave him even more power. The most famous king was Gilgamesh, or Uruk, who was the subject of the Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the world's oldest surviving works of literature. All right, so government continued. There were also laws that the, the citizens must follow or face punishment, all right? The invention of government is often credited to the Sumer Sumerians. Uh, they didn't write down their laws. We'll get into that later on. Uh, uh, there was a, a Babylonian king that that started writing down the laws, and uh, we'll talk more about him later. But uh, but they did have laws, just like we have laws today. Uh, and you know, you were expected to obey those laws. If you didn't, you were punished. Governor, there was a fairly complex government with officials who helped to organize city building projects. There were also laws that citizens must follow or face punishment. The invention of government is often credited to the Sumerians. All right, and then they had religion. Their religion. Okay, this this here in this picture, this is a ziggurat. All right, it's a temple to their god. All right, and uh at the top of the pyramid, they would have some kind of shrine to it, and they wanted to be as close to their gods as possible. That's why they made them so high. And uh, here, these priests would perform rituals and sacrifices. Yes, some of them were human sacrifices. So uh, I would like to show you all some clips of like Apocalypto, but I can't. Uh, but if you ever want to see it, look up Apocalypto. Uh, uh, have your parents look up Apoc Apocalypto, and you can see the, the ziggurat scene from it. Uh, but anyway, these ziggurats were, were, they were shrines to their gods, in other words. And they were, they were kind of like a pyramid, uh, like a step pyramid is what they were like. Religion. Each city-state also had its own god. In the center of each city-state was a large temple to the city god called a ziggurat. The ziggurat looked like a step pyramid with a flat top. Here, the priest would perform rituals and sacrifices. All right. Uh, but one of the greatest contributions these Sumerians made to civilization was their many inventions. I told you. If you look right here, this is what one of the first formed wheels that, that, that was found, and it was in Mesopotamia. They think they, they, they invented the wheel. Uh, they invented writing. I talked a little bit about that yesterday. If you look right here, here's writing. They invented sun-dried bricks. All right, and irrigation for farming to get the water from the river to their crops. You know, all these things were very important for the development of, of human civilization. The, and all their technology and science, we've got, I've actually got a whole little thing on everything they invented. I'm just kind of going over, not just the Sumerians, but Mesopotamia as a whole. Important inventions and technology. One of the greatest contributions the Sumerians made to civilization was their many inventions. They invented the first form of writing, a number system, the first wheeled vehicles, sun-dried bricks, and irrigation for farming. All of these things were important for the development of human civilization. All right, let's get into our comp comp comprehension questions. Who's thought to have formed the first human civilization? Was it A, the Sumerians, B, the Aztecs, or C, the Americans? It is A, the Sumerians were thought to form the first human civilization. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. And remember, this is just a group of them. There. This is all Mesopotamia. All right, Sumerians were just a group in all of Mesopotamia. Number two, what two rivers did the civilization lie between? Was it the Broad River and the first Broad River, B, the Nile River, or C, the Euphrates and Tigris Rivers? It is C, the Euphrates and the Tigris River. That's where it lied, lied, laid between. If you look right here, you can see. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. 
All right, number three, what is the land also called? A, the cradle of civilization, B, Rome, or C, Greece? It's called A, the cradle of civilization, because remember in the overview, I showed you a picture of the cradle and it kind of shaped like a cradle. That's why it's called the cradle of civilization. It began there. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. All right. Uh, what did Sumerians form that ruled the city and surrounding the land? What did they, what did they form or they invented? Then was it A, armies, B, city states, or C, nothing? It's B, city states. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Remember I showed you the picture? You know, that city was inside the walls here and everything outside, they ruled everything outside of it. But when somebody would come to attack, they would come in in these walls for, for protection. And last one, what is one thing the Sumerians invented? A, writing, B, farming, or C, America? One thing they invented was writing. They also invented government and several other things, but one thing that was very, very important out of everything, I think, is writing. Ding, 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 we have a winner. All right, class, uh, that is all for today. Uh, I will uh, have another video up next week with our week week two stuff, uh, and we're going to go into the inventions and ziggurats and and several other things that uh that we're, as we cover this unit. But uh, you all have a good weekend, and and uh, I will see you then.